Hello, hello, hello. How? Nadia, your mic. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, how is everybody this fun Sunday morning? Um, so, or it's not really morning, it's afternoon, isn't it? <laughs> so, as you can yeah. tell, we're <laughs> celebrating Pride. So, we decided that's what the look for today was going to be. But, um, yeah, we're excited to talk about new makeup releases. If you don't know who I am, I'm Betsy. Um, this is my channel, and we'll bring it over to Nadia. There's definitely an echo somewhere. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was like, I could find my mouth. I was like, oh my goodness. Hi, I'm Nadia. I like just to play with fun makeup, like to test, you know, push the push the boundaries on makeup and things like that. And I just like to talk about life, have fun. Okay, Steven. Hey all, so my name's Steven, for anyone who doesn't know me. Um, I like to lead my life with kindness and compassion. Um, I love sparkly, beautiful things like makeup and highlighter and blush. And so, yeah, uh, today I'm wearing a lot of just fun colors on my eyeballs. So hope you all enjoy. <laughs> you look amazing. Um, I'm Rippy. I love all things makeup. I love playing with color, but lately I've been loving neutrals and this feels really out of my element this like today. <laughs> but I'm kind of glad I did green blush. My blush heart is happy. <laughs> yeah, it looks really fun. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and say hi to people in the chat. I'm not sure if we're having some technical difficulties with it because it, we're like I keep hearing like it's like it sounds like we're cutting in and out. So yeah, I'm hearing an echo from someone. Okie dokie. So let's see who else we have in the chat today. Hi Kelly. Hi Anara. Um let's see. Hi Locke. Hi Tori. Hey Aileen. But yeah, today we're going to cut it a little bit short because one, it's Caden's birthday, my middle one. But yeah, I'm glad everybody's here to join us. Anybody have anything to say before we jump into the new releases? Uh, just that we should discover where this echo is coming from and kill it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to try. I'm going to turn off my mic and see where it comes from. Anyone hearing an echo? I'm not hearing one right now. Nadia, can you talk? Hello. Can anyone hear it? I'm not hearing it. No. Yeah, so I'm not sure what is going on, but we shall see. Okay, we're going to keep it all. Okay, so if we have any issues, just kind of give us a moment. We're trying to figure it out. Let's see. I hope it's not me. Can't hear you, Betsy. Okay, so I'm trying to turn the microphone, so just let me know how that goes for you. So, okay. Yeah, Kelly, me and Nadia, me and Nadia I don't know. It's like I'm it's like a feedback. I think your other mic was better, Betsy. This one keeps cutting out and I can't hear everything you say. Yeah. So it, how's that one going? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, there's like a delayed echo. Mm -hmm. okay. I think you go back to your first mic. Okay, so I don't know. We'll just kind of go from there and see how it works. So do we want to start with indie luxury or mainstream? Ooh. Mainstream. Should we kill mainstream? Because I feel like there were a lot of mainstream releases. Okie dokie. So let's go to trend mode. 
Okay. First up, the Bratz collection. Why is this a thing? <laughs> Who asked for this? I don't know. Nadia loved playing with these dolls. That and Monster High. I think if they released like a Monster High collab, she would be all over that. It wouldn't be funny. Yeah, I remember Monster High. Um, no, I grew up with Barbie, so like that was like my jam. But just call it like it just looking at the actual eye. Well, are there so many different ones? The big one, okay, for example. I look at it and I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. I wouldn't know what look to do because it's so scattered. <laughs> Danny's like, X. <laughs> I feel, yeah, I feel like honestly, that if it was a monster, I, oh yeah, but. I don't know. It's just not that exciting to me. Yeah. I feel like I have all of these at least three times. I'm not well, very familiar with the IP. Um, I think brats were getting popular when my sisters were younger. Um, so I guess like they're trying to market this to like, like people who are in their mid twenties perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the eggs either, Anara. Like, why ovals? Ovals bother me. I don't know what it is. Well, for me, it's more it's makeup revolution. So. Yeah. It's a pass for me. Yeah, it doesn't excite me. Yeah, it wouldn't even be me twice. Ooh, this one. So, we I purchased this this morning. I don't know who else did. But I purchased I, this. This excites me. I've been going back and forth about this one so much. So I woke up today and it was much later after the release because I think it was super early Pacific time. I got up. I went on the website. It was still there. I added it to my cart and then I closed the page. And then I was talking to Colin. <laughs> and they said they did the same thing that I did where they went and added it to cart and then they just abandoned <laughs> I did that too. I put it in a cart. I added the code Liz Dagger Beauty so I could save 15%. And, and then, then I was like, like, do I want this for $35? No. Yeah. I'm a clown. I bought it. I love it. I'm excited for it. Like, I only bought the palette though because one, I'm not the biggest fan of Glam Light glosses. And. Let's be frank, the only time that highlight would look good on me is like right now because I'm wearing Nadia's foundation. Yeah. I mean, Honestly, I, I love Michaela and I would buy this just for her, but I know I'm not going to reach for this palette. So I can just support her by watching her content and I don't yeah. I don't need to fix it. So I'm okay. <laughs> I okay. like I went through the colors this morning with Ryan because I was like tempted to get it, right? And I was like Okay, well, let's be honest. And I went through like every single color. I was like, I have that, I have that, I have that. And then like the colors that I don't have, I probably wouldn't use. Like there's this purplish gray in the second row towards the right. I don't know what what, what name it is, but like. Oh, I forgot what the name of it is, but me and Colin were dying over that shade. Yeah, but it's not something I would use. So I'm like. If that's the only one that I that I'm being like that I don't have, then I don't need it. Danny, I agree. The bottom two rows, I would have bought it if it was just the bottom two rows. It would have been in my collection, no questions asked. Yeah, see, for me, it wasn't a bad price. I like Glam Lights formula, so I'm excited. Okay, next up. I don't know why we're having the echo. I have everything turned off. Nadia's mic's off, so no, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, Hello Kitty. I'm not hearing one. I really want the yellow one. I just want the yellow one. <laughs> we all know Nadia's gonna get this because it's Hello yeah. Kitty. I, I will say this is the blush gonna look like Trixie's. They actually did it cute for once. Like th this is what ColourPop should be doing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like, I'm sure I'll end up purchasing it. Okay, so I'll purchase it for Nadia. Yeah. She doesn't buy makeup hardly ever. I buy it because she wants this. But, yeah, I'll, I'm going to end up purchasing it. It's cute. And I'm really excited for the yellow palette. Yeah, I think I might get the yellow one and maybe the blue. Mainly just the yellow one. So, yeah, that's cute. 
Oh, I ordered this. Yes. I have it here. I love all I really of this. Like, <laughs> I really like the shimmer shades in this one. And Can I'm like, watch D2? Totally. D2? Yes. Hold on. Yes. Yeah, it looks so interesting, hey? But I'm like, I feel like those shimmers, I, I think that this is a, I think D2 is D2 a pressed is a glitter. Oh, no. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's the only one, though, that's in there that's a pressed glitter, I think. I'm, I'm surprised they did a pressed glitter. Well, I think in the fourth one, they have one, too. But D2 is a beautiful rose gold with holographic pieces. And pressed glitters don't bother me. D2 reminds me of something that I have from Clam Shop. Yeah, I was thinking Clam Shop, too. You got me those hollows for my birthday, Betsy. And, like, that looks similar to one of the hollows. Yeah. Oh, it is. Other than this is a pressed glitter, and that is not. No. Is B4 a mat with shimmer in it? B4 is, yes. Yeah. So like one of those color pop shadows? Yes, it's a sequin shade pretty much. That's what I always call them. They're like the mats with the, but it, like at least when you swatch this one, the glitter does stay a little bit more. I think there was one in volume one as well. It was in like a deep blue where they had a little bit of shimmer and it does actually show up surprisingly. Hey, all Zach. Right. It's all good. I, yeah. I'm not very tempted by this because it's just a lot of... I don't know. I think I would need to rearrange this and so I could see them like in color cord, color order to see like what actually I'm getting out of this because it looks very confusing as is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I bought it because I own the others and it's a collection thing. I mean, I'll be perfectly frank. I buy eyeshadows a lot of times to complete a collection. What's the and quality of those? I really like the Norvina palettes. I They're enjoy really good quality. Yeah, I have the first three. I like them too, but I don't reach for them as much anymore. So I just didn't end up buying four and five. And plus, I bought the first three on 50% off. So if I want to buy the other two, it'll be on 50% off. I just got number two. I just got number two, I think it is. Is that right? Number two? Um, I think. Yeah, I think two. Yeah. Yeah, I got that one on 50%. And I used one of the shadows today, my inner corner. It's the bright pink in my inner corner. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I do like this. It's very, I don't know, pleasing, I guess. Those highlighters look very nice. I, I kind of want to just like get one of those highlighters. <laughs> yeah. It's, I like, I I like KKW, really, but I will say it's expensive because I got a little a stick. Let's see if I got it. <laughs> I like 30 something dollars on this. What is that? The contour stick. Oh, gosh. This is, this is all the, <laughs> that's all I have. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It's literally like a two no. lipstick. Like I never gravitate towards the KKW brand, but I like this color story because my neutral. <laughs> I feel like I if you got this, it would do well in your channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Yeah, yeah I'm staying away from this. Those are uh, my husband's. Yeah, I don't feel like we really need this, I will say, but I will say at least it makes me a little happy. To see, she's at least doing more than. I like the she got green in there. She, she got, got <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Nadia, if you're gonna sit there and call this being more color, there is a green. And it is a khaki green. So to me, that is a neutral shade. Yeah. There is nothing new or exciting whatsoever about yeah. this. What I totally agree. <laughs> The two exciting shades she's ever done is that bright purple and then that bright blue that she had. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got this. I got this and I love it so, so much. I've already used it twice. Yes. I, everything that I have, though, from Artist Couture is great quality. So it does make me excited. But I didn't purchase that. Okay, so this is another new bronzer. Uh, this is Say, Say, I don't know how to say the name. Um, say, it's Say. Anyways, this is nothing exciting to me. I might be buying this. I already added it to my email me when it's in list. <laughs> is this I'm a, all down. Is it's a cream bronzer. 
Okay. okay. Yeah. It looks like the same texture as the color pop one. So maybe I'm happy with my cheap color pop one. Yeah. It, like, it looks kind of similar to like the, the Danessa Myricks too, like as far as like a formula goes, but um, yeah. I'm, There's a couple of things I want to try from this brand. So I've been waiting. And now that they're coming out with the cream bronzer, I think I might pick up a few things. I do have one item, but um, I think I want to try their blush too. I wish they had like one more shade. I'm just saying, like, I think the mm -hmm. light will be light enough for someone like me and Nadia. Yeah. Uh, at C and you could probably use the deep shade. And then I think dark isn't dark enough. So I wish there was one more shade. Well, yeah. I think that there honestly should be two more shades. There needs, there needs to, be to be one be between medium, medium and deep, deep and then one after dark because like that medium, medium shade, shade, at least uh, like right now it would be fine. But like on my normal color day, that's not enough color. And I wouldn't think that that would be enough color for Rupi either. Yeah. That's what like that wouldn't show up on my skin at all. Well, I think I'm probably going to pick it up in medium, so I will let you guys know. Yes, please do. Yeah, I will let you guys know. Okay, next up. Okay, next uh, up. Another uh, Sephora uh, favorite Sephora. set. Nah. <laughs> I never buy these. I'm like, if I just want like the one thing that's in there, then I'll just buy the one thing that's in there in full size. I will say my favorite thing ever. And just because I saw the, you know, the face mask, I love when I see Disney face mask and then you put it on your face and it looks so terrible because it's like the print of the person. <laughs> I, love oh, you know, I love those. They're just so funny. I have ones that are supposed to look like pandas, but I can tell you it looks really terrifying. <laughs> See, I, I, I get Locke's comment where she says, with multiple cre with multiple come to Jesus moments, I have realized that I don't wear enough makeup often enough to justify cream products. I feel like they will go rancid before I use them up. That's how I am. Like when I bought stuff from Mario, I love Mario's quality, but I decided to stick more with the powder products because I don't feel so bad because I will use a powder product way past its expiration date, but there's something about a cream product that I won't. Yeah. I also just like, I think my future in the makeup space is about minimizing what I own and I know I won't use cream products and I just found a bronzer that I think is like the perfect shade for me. Uh, it's from the brand CXC and I'm like, this is all I need. I don't need a second bronzer or a third bronzer yeah. or a fourth bronzer. I have what I need. So I'm good. See, I, I don't have that issue. I'm like, I'll just, I have cream products that are quite old and I'll still use them. I'm okay using them. So unless they like completely don't work anymore because they've dried out, then that's a different story. Now, okay. Ruby, talk to us I about this one. I bought this too. <laughs> How could I not? You guys know I love blush. I bought the warm set. So I'm getting the warm palette. I'm getting one of the loose mood light blushes, um, two lip cushions, and I think one cream to powder stick. So super excited to try those out. Is the warm one the on top? Yeah. 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 I don't I don't really love pink blush, but now I'm also kind of tempted to get the pink one too. <laughs> I, I don't just don't know if like I don't know if like fantasy or French kiss would look good on you. Which ones? Fantasy and French kiss. I can't even see what they are. The two lighter ones. Mm -hmm. I already have one. That's like that very first cool toned pink. I think it's from Sydney grace and I don't hate it, but I already have one. So I probably don't need this. Yeah. I have a bajillion blushes and I just I bought just Pat McGrath. So, so I skipped this one. Oh, you're not need another one. Look good. Yeah. Oh. They have my heart. Wild <laughs> Orchid. I, I'm eyeing Wild Orchid. I want that so bad. <laughs> I think it's what it's called. Oh. <laughs> this it just so disappoints me so much. Okay, I want good neon. <laughs> This is not neon. Like originally, it, now it's the pop of neon, co neon collection, but I think it was supposed to be called something else. It was called neon neon electric. There's three neons, one in each palette, and I'm not even sure if they count as a true neon. This is not a neon palette. 
No, Betsy, hey, can you scroll down and see if the comments, like I bet you mine and Steven's like on top <laughs> where the writing is there? Nope, they don't show up. Uh, our trolling comments, me and Steven have been trolling trend mood so bad. <laughs> <laughs> The packaging is cute. Been, this could have been one five pan palette with those three neon shades and then two neutrals for that neutral with the pop of neon. Yeah. That's what yeah, they should have no. done. Okay, we've seen that one. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the brunette palette. Uh, Jeremy bought me this one because our internet was down here at the shop. Uh, again, I bought this because I own every single melt palette and I'm going to continue to buy every single melt palette. I don't care if it's a boring brown palette. Yeah, <laughs> I passed on this one. I I bought Patrick Ta. I bought the Supreme Bronze. And I forget, I feel like I bought something else too. I don't remember. I will say that gold looks very nice. I bet it feels so soft. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty. I just don't need it. <laughs> I know. Jeremy was like, do you need me to buy you the set that has the brushes? And I was like, no, I'm really not the biggest fan of melt brushes, but I do like their shadow. So that's a lot of pictures of the brushes. They're a little scratchy compared to other vegan brands. There's more pictures of the brushes in the palette. Well, there's only eight shades in the palette, and there's ten brushes. So there's more brushes than there are. I thought it was only five brushes. I didn't know it was ten. Well, there's two sets. There's one that was like three hundred dollars that came with all ten brushes, the vegan container and the palette. Then there was one that had five brushes, the brush, the yeah. So okay, lip oil. I will say the All Heart is pretty, but I'm pretty sure I have that like five times. And I don't know if I would feel okay with buying it for $22 each. Yeah, and I'm not going to go out of my way to order lip oil from Sigma. I could probably find something at Sephora or the drugstore. Or you could just use Aquaphor. Well, it's oil, so yeah, you could pretty much use any food safe oil to put oil on your lips because it ain't got enough pigment to show up olive oil. I have an idea. we can all be like j-lo and just use olive oil yes <laughs> i'm gonna look like j-lo i'm just gonna start smearing virgin olive oil all over my face oh no i'm gonna make it one step better i'm gonna get my own olives and press them into my skin and then i'm gonna look like j-lo okay next up is Kaja, and these are more eyeshadows. I haven't tried Kaja yet. I think I that they're either. cute. But yeah, they're cute, but for storage and stuff, the, the, I don't pick this kind of thing up because I know I'm not going to touch it. Like my drawer that I have all my single eyeshadows in, they never get touched. <laughs> See, I think I thought, I don't think, didn't they do like the heart stamp blush? It was like yes. a blush. Because I almost got that. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. And sorry, when I say like, single oh, when I say single eyeshadows, I don't mean like my actual single eyeshadow collection. I mean my single eyeshadows that are in their own little compact. I never pick those up. So I look at this and my first reaction is who asked for this, who needs this? And then I think about someone like my sister who, if anyone remembers, there's this journey to try to find her like a replacement for her Clinique yeah. eyeshadow palette that she used for like five years. She wants to use the same eyeshadow palette every day to create the same basic neutral look because that's what she likes she's mm -hmm. a regular makeup consumer she wants to have like one eyeshadow palette one foundation one concealer a handful of brushes like maybe two blushes that's what she wants so something like this is actually perfect for her because it's yeah. compact it doesn't have to take up a lot of space it's yeah it's honestly not for us it's no it's not for us sister. i don't think it's in for any of us and probably for no one in the chat I think this yeah, is probably yeah. for your average, like, I only need this one little eyeshadow thing, and that's it. I finished my compact. I need a new one. I'll grab that one. That's the kind of consumer I see buying this. Yeah. Okay, what's, hey, next? what's next? Which, how do people live a life like that? I don't know. <laughs> They're not makeup mad guys. No, no. I like, can't do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> they don't have the right to wear this shirt. Yeah. Okay, so O O blows rosy drops. Meh. I know I love blush, but I'm kind of just like meh. <laughs> I don't need to buy. You it don't want you know. omega fatty acids in your blush? 
I actually I really like this. I like this a I lot. Know. This looks really beautiful. I think actually, Stephen, I think you would really enjoy a product like this. I really think that you would. Their D bronzy drops or whatever people love as well. I've, I, they're very sheer bronzing drops, and this is a very sheer kind of blush. But it's not for me. <laughs> I'm wearing green lava. blush for God's sake. <laughs> There's only <laughs> one shade that. in it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, this I is not going to work for like See, this. This okay. This is what I would use. Okay, when I get sunburnt, when I want a body lava, and I want to match me. Yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I did get a little sunburn at the zoo yesterday. I don't know if you can see, like my forehead's a little red. Uh, the water tone foundation does not cover sunburn. Just so you know. <laughs> Didn't figure it would. Uh, YSL. Okay, so this is the smoke, the lay, hold on, you gotta say it correctly, the lay smoky collection. Now, if that doesn't make me sound country, I don't know what is, because at least if you're gonna use a word to make it, like, French, then use something other than smoky. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but this is boring. Boring. <laughs> I will say yeah. at least the packaging looks luxurious instead of like some other one. Was it Chanel the other last time we talked about it? Yeah. They had this cheap like packaging. This looks like it has leather on the outside. This looks very, very like, like, it's like a fancy to look clutch. Like, yeah, it's made to look like they're clutches. But yes. and not, I don't want to pay for that. <laughs> if I was somebody who was like, let's say 55 years old, just retired, I've got like the rest of my life ahead of me and millions of dollars in the bank. I would buy this and just, like, oh, me just too. Like, hold it and be like, look at my beautiful thing. Yeah, you oh, just own it just to show it all. Be like, fly oh, first. Yeah. Like, look at this. Okay, okay. next okay. up. Deodorant. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is a glimmer <laughs> stick from Lime Crime. So I guess this is a highlight sticks. Oh my gosh, they have a glimmer color in my shade. Glitter pits, glitter pits, glitter yeah, pits. Yeah, I literally went on there and I was like, hashtag glitter pits. <laughs> I don't know, but the yellow gold, the yellow gold. which one is that called? Uh, Beachy, you yeah. know, that's the one before that. So Gold Coast, no, I actually kind of no. like that color. Gold Coast. That one. It's yeah. very yellow. That would look really pretty. That pinky one's really pretty, but that won't look good on me. People were saying in the comments, because I was talking about, like, it's stupid uh, form factor, and people were like, oh, my is, comments. Oh my God. <laughs> 200 likes. Yeah. So much troll. I like, you cannot expect it to not look like deodorant. And people were like, well, Mark Jacobs did this first. I'm like, yeah, well, Mark Jacobs is going out of business, so. That tells you something. True. <laughs> I said I wouldn't be a troll today, and I'm doing it. Sorry. <laughs> Next up. Uh, what is this? Prime Conceal Highlight. So I think this is kind of like the glowish, the Hollywood flawless filter, but like in a drugstore version. That makes sense. I don't know how it's going to work with that applicator though, because I wouldn't want the. I've never used this product before. Like the concealer I've used a version concealer version. that has that applicator. It's not the my favorite applicator. Yeah, I, have it right here. I love love that concealer so this much. This concealer is so good. It's so bomb. So. Trixie Mattel I might, it. I might try this, but I don't know like how long it's going to take to come to Canada because our drugstores are always behind. So I want to try this though because I want to see. But it's just weird to me that there is there only three shades. No, Possibly. no, I it don't think so. Because it says zero 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 two and zero four, so there might be like in betweens that they just haven't shown us. Here's what Maybe. I'll say: when my because I have a mini of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been loving that combination with my water tone foundation. When that mini uh, runs out, I will buy that and try to use that in replace of it and see what you see what it is like. Yeah. Okay, so next up, this is a collab for Be Perfect and the Vivian, um, which Vivian is a British drag race star um so this is the scepter palette this is beautiful it's huge i skipped it but be perfect does have amazing formula i, I use the mixture of that in blend bunny today 
Yeah, so I passed I on that as well because it's just not something that I would reach for. But I, I, I think for a drag performer, it would work yeah. out really well because, yeah. like, drag performers need to have like very like a lot of white and dark. Like, they work with a lot of primary colors yeah. and they blend things together. So it I was think so it would smart be to put the large pans of the white and black in that palette for sure. Oh yeah, this is genius, and even the blush and the, like because you use so much of that. Yeah. So that's actually, I think, I think it's genius. It's perfect, yeah. I think yeah. so. But Dan, you have a question. Do you buy from Beauty Bay and Beautylish at all? Like, because they still stock too. We were having this discussion earlier because we were like, we don't know, like. Yeah, should we, should you boycott over, over the star or should because they're carrying it because i still have bought from beautylish i've still have bought from i think it's beauty bay so should you stop buying from everybody because they're care you know i don't know yeah I, i'm not sure i mean i don't buy from beauty bay often but sometimes because some of the brands that i can't access here it's cheaper for me to get off of beauty bay than it is to get off of a u.s website um mm -hmm. But like also Beautylish, so. I yeah. think it's it's really dependent on each person. Like Rupi, what you're talking about is like access. Like you get access to certain makeup. Sorry, my headphone just started talking to me. <laughs> uh, like I think access is important. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. talk about this for too long. I just think if you're being able to boycott something is kind of like a a position of privilege. It's a privilege to be able to boycott something. And that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. So, okay, next right. up, oh, Bratz again. We don't need to talk about that one again. Okay, I think we're... Time for Indy? I think so. Okay, let's go to... I think the only one that didn't come up since our last um, egg pies was the Patrick Ta, which me and Betsy both bought and we both love so far. Yes. yes. Patrick Ta is amazing. That. I did buy hollow taco. I bought, or Jeremy bought me those, the, the new hollow taco <laughs> polishes. And I did, I ordered the eye icing. I don't think we talked about that. I ordered no. the eye icing when I ordered glam light this morning. Yeah. I think that's one thing I do want to might. There's Patrick Yeah. Formula is beautiful in this palette. Super it is, expensive it is. for what it is, but it's beautiful. And I really, I really like, like his, his eyeliners. I bought the deep bronze shade. It is gorgeous. I hope he comes out with more colors. Yeah, I think I no. might go with that one up. I, I would love a bronze eyeliner, I think. Okay, next up, let's go to do some ND. Yay. This is French Cosmetics. Cosmetics. They're doing multi-chromes. How fun. That's very exciting for them. That is exciting, yeah. Because multi-chromes really bring a lot of people in. And I, Drench has, like, some good stuff. And this will, like, just, like, really increase their, um, whatever you want to call it. Rain who is Rainbow's fart? And how are multi-chromes boring? <laughs> I, I don't, don't know. know. But they're what? not farting enough rainbows. No, clearly not. <laughs> okay, so next up we have the Davina Cosmetics Halo Moon Halo Collection. Moon. I decided to skip on this because I have too many singles that don't get enough love. And I pretty much have all these shades already in my iridescent multichromes from Cleona. So why buy more not to use more? <laughs> Yeah. Right. Are you guys shocked if I tell you I passed on these? <laughs> I didn't end up getting them because I have singles coming in from Shine by SD, which I think we're going to be talking about soon. And then also from Terra Moons. And I think I picked up like three Cleona singles. And then with buying like the Jaclyn Hill blush and the Patrick tie, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have to pass for now. These are not limited edition. I can buy them later if I really want them. I passed as well. Um, I'm currently in a no-buy until the end of August. So June, July, August. 
And so I asked uh, Deandra, are these permanent? Will they be like con con continuing to restock as you can? And she assured me that everything in her collection is permanent. She doesn't like do limited edition stuff. So if this is something that interests you, you will be able to get it at some point. Don't feel rushed to get anything from Divina Cosmetics. Yeah. So that's always a good point. As I said, I just skipped. It was not my favorite i think it's beautiful um this is the palette you picked up this is the shine by <laughs> sb enchantment palette this is gorgeous i skipped it because i have so many shiny single or shiny everything yeah i picked this up along with their new singles bundle which might be in a separate post i think um i'm super excited to try i don't know if you guys saw my recent Real on the Shine by SD singles. They are so beautiful. I can't wait until this comes in. So, I'm what's the name excited. of the collection that you swatched? It was the Dynasty Bundle One. So, I have Dynasty Bundle Two coming. They look beautiful when you swatch them, but then I went to the website and they looked very similar. Like, some of the shadows look very similar on the website. So, I just wasn't sure, like, about that but if anyone's interested ruby will have content for y'all yes <laughs> and i can't wait to see what she thinks because it's a brand i'm still interested in trying next up yeah. this is the tentalia and yeah. sydney grace collab that's pretty which is in your picking up <laughs> So I'm probably going to pick up the, I'm going to try to pick up the deep bundle. Um, my friend Karen Harris was showing me the deep and she was like, you'll like the deep more, but yeah. So I personally, I think I'm going to pass on these. My thing is when I look at the palettes, they all look so similar to me that I can't look at them and be like, if I were to pick one, which one would I pick? Because there's so much crossover from one palette to the other. Like each of them have greens in it. So I'm just like, they're all just so overlappy. There's a lot of similar <laughs> shadows. There's no there's no dupes. So like no. let, we'll be no. clear, like between the three palettes, there's no dupes, but there's a lot of family. So there's like three or four pinks, there's three or four greens and blues and so on. I think my comment says it all right there. They're yeah. pretty, don't hate them, but you know, this is too much. There yeah. would have been more impactful if she had been concise and consolidated all these shadows into one single story for us. Uh, this is too much. It's too much. And it creates this like, um, got to catch them all kind of mentality, yeah. which then makes people how, want to spend more money. That's how they make me feel like I look at them and I'm overwhelmed. Um, and also what Kat said about I lost interest after being teased forever. For me too, like for six months I've been waiting and I was excited about shades at first because I remember there was this beautiful like turquoisey shade and we were so excited and now I feel like it's in every palette. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I can't remember if it was Liz Perry who said it to me, but she was talking about, I think it was her, um, Pat McGrath has a sale right now. And I was like, jokingly added all the motherships to my to my cart just to see how much it would be with 25 percent off and it's still stupid expensive um but she was like don't ever do that because you're gonna get all of those palettes in at once even if you're buying like two or three you're gonna get all of them in at once and you're not gonna be able to enjoy them because yeah. there's gonna be so much abundance like i know that to be true because within the last three weeks i've gotten maybe three or four eyeshadow palettes. And yeah. it's, just, it's too much for me to even like think about. I, I, I can't possibly play with the makeup that often. I basically do the same eye look every day at work and then I play with makeup on the weekend. I just don't have enough time. Well, that's what happened to me with like Natasha Denona. I feel like I accumulated so many of her palettes in such little time. And when I was doing my uh, Supreme Bronze video, I was comparing the Natasha Denona Sunset, which I haven't even used yet. I was comparing it to the palette and I was like, oh my God, like I need to dip into this palette. This is gorgeous. But I never opened it because I always have new stuff coming in. So yeah, I just, I don't know if I can buy all three of these at once. Maybe I'll wait it out because I know with Tiny Marvels, I bought it way later than the initial launch. So if I'm still interested in anything at that point, I'll get it. Yeah. yeah. So as I said, I'm probably going to pick it up just because I do like Sydney Grace and I want to try more, but do I need it? No. 
and it's a, and I mean, it is still expensive. So yeah. that one we already talked about. We've already talked about that. Kind of talked about those. I'm, I bought two of those shades. But I also play with a lot of makeup. Okay, so I think you can still pre-order this. This is beautiful. I have this. Rupee has this. I don't know if you can pre-order it right now, but I know they said they were going to do another pre-order during the summer. So there I is think one she said, like, depending on, depending on how much people, like, ask for it, she may bring it back. Yeah. Well, she said there was going to be one definite um, summer, or not restock, but, like, pre-order. So she would have one in either June or July, or no, July or August. I just don't know when. She hasn't decided yet. But if after that people still wanted it, I think she would bring it back. But that I know comment from sorry, that comment from Harpy seventy nine. I just keep looking at it; it's making me laugh. It's like everyone gets mad at Pop of Blue, but why gotta have a Pop of Pink? <laughs> There's gonna be a Pop of some color, you know. I know you can't, you can't be without it. Okay, okay let's, let's see what's see next. next. What is this? Ooh. Oh, Lisa, Lisa Eldridge. Eldridge. I skipped um, it. I think Aileen, Aileen got, got all of it. Kelly did. Uh, Kelly got some, uh, some of it. I don't know if she got all of it. I actually, I by the time I decided which shades I wanted, I went on the website and all the blush was sold out. So <laughs> I didn't get to get any. So I skipped this. I, yeah. I wanted to try it. I a lot. I have been obsessed with Lisa Eldridge since probably mid 2019. Yeah. But I don't really need any products that she's creating. Nothing. I don't wear lipstick. I barely wear lip gloss. I don't use cream blushes. I have a highlighter I like. I don't know. She hasn't created anything that's like, Steven, you must buy this. But I'm still obsessed with her. Still obsessed. Yeah. I've loved her for years and I bought her lipsticks. They are beautiful, but I don't know that I would buy any more just because I don't think I need them, but I would love to try like one blush. Your lipstick broke, right? Is this the one that broke? Yes. Yes. It was the one that broke. Yeah. <laughs> also me and Kelly were looking at these and I thought that these were the blushes, the lip glosses. And I really wanted to get Delilah until Kelly told me it wasn't a blush. And then my heart kind of, Oh, <laughs> I just think it would be such a beautiful blush color. It's like a beautiful lilac, but I have yeah, it from sure, Salt, New sure. York, so I should use that one first because I haven't used it. <laughs> so, so. I don't know. I'm obsessed with luxury, luxury makeup luxury. artists, but that's more <laughs> Natasha and uh, Charlotte and yeah. Pat. Um, Lisa just hasn't Lisa. done anything where it's like, Ooh, I yeah. need you. At least not for me. But I mean, I think it's beautiful. beautiful. It's not my thing. Next up, what do we have? We have um, um, oh, the bronzers bronze. we got. Yes, these are, great. these are great. That's what I used today. Honestly, I really liked it. Like it's now really hard for me lot? to find. Uh, actually, no, I didn't need these a lot. But it was very buildable. Like buildable. It wasn't like a very like I put it in there and I put it on there. It's like ah. It was. Uh, what I really liked about it. Are you wearing it today, Steven? Yeah, I don't know if you can see. I'm wearing it like right here, this area. I think I. And then on my forehead a little. I have someone who has a bunch of my stuff that is going to be shipped to me. So I'm tempted to kind of ship it to them. But I'm wearing the colored rain one today. I just got it and I tried it for the first time. It's so beautiful. I love it. Well, I really uh, liked it because I just didn't, it didn't make me feel dirty. I love the. Like, the amount of selection um monica monica's in the chat i think monica tried i can't remember what post it was now it was the victoria beckham and patrick uh, ta patrick ta yeah it was those two yeah. patrick ta. And, and then makeup by mario i didn't realize um so the I deepest guess. shade was not available at sephora which for some reason that always seemed to happen because remember with melt when their cream blushes came out, the deepest shades were not available at Sephora. So I checked my Sephora app when um, I saw Monica's post and it was like coming soon. And I was like, why isn't it already there? <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. I want to point out, like if you see my comment there, what I like about this range is that it's good. It's a good range it's, to begin it's with. It's a great range. But also 
the brand owner specifically said that if you do not see a shade that works for you, please reach out to them and they will absolutely yes. design a shade perfect for you. Just yeah. putting that out there. So, Locke, I do think sometimes in brands, the deepest shade can be for show because if you haven't noticed, even if a brand creates them, a lot of times places don't get it. It's like if you go shop for foundation at the drugstore, how often do you see the full shade range? Well, that's like, how do these high-end brands come out with like five bronzer shades or three bronzer shades and call it a day? And then you have CXC Beauty. They come out with 25, 25 shades of bronzer. There's literally one for everyone. Well, I mean, and the part of the thing is you can't, I mean, Colored Rain did an amazing range as yes. well whenever they did their yeah. bronzers. I mm -hmm. mean, it's mainstream brands that we have more yeah. issues with shade range. Yeah. The only mainstream brand that killed it with the bronzer is Fenty. Mm -hmm. The only one. Let's see. What's, what's no. okay. We've seen that. Uh, I skipped oh, this. I skipped this too. The yellow the and blue one. Is Huh? Sorry, you go ahead. I just want the yellow in that six pound palette, but I don't want anything else. <laughs> um, you know, I'm still on the hunt for a perfect yellow. Yeah, this kind of bores me. Um, and also, I have experience with their product shots being deceptive. I yes. feel like their shadows never look never the same on the computer than when you get them. I can tell you like that yellow is probably going to be a little more mustardy muted. in person and muted. For sure. and, muted. and For sure. it's just, it's very weird. Yeah, I don't know why they're like that. I don't know. I have heard good things though about their gel liners, but I have enough of those. Mm -hmm. I would like that to see a review from, how to say this? I'm going to try, try to be as like, polite as possible. I want to hear somebody review Lethal Cosmetics who did not get Lethal Cosmetics in PR. Do you want me to do it? <laughs> I bought some of their stuff. <laughs> I did too, but I don't. Yeah, I, I would love to see you review it. I haven't used my Lethal stuff yet, so I can do that. I have a gel liner and I have two palettes, so I'll be more than happy to. And just to be clear, this is the full shade range of the CXC Beauty uh, yeah. for the bronzers. Which one did so, you buy, Betsy? I bought neutral two. Okay, I have neutral one, and I think it's really good. It builds too. It doesn't look too orange on me at all. It honestly just deepens my skin tone. It's so interesting. I've never met a bronzer like it before. Yes, um, yes I really enjoy it. Does your shade work for you, Betsy? Yes, it actually does. Okay, even so with my you as well. Well, and that's part of it. It's like I say all the time. I have so many bronzers that the deepest shade is what works on me, and it's a barely work on me. I yeah. should never be the deepest shade. No. So, so. Next, up. next up. Okay, this is old. That's the perception palette. We talked about that last time. Oh, that although one. they have a fifty percent off sale right now, don't they? Do they? Oh yeah, uh, no, it was just till yesterday midnight. Oh dang it! Because this, this would this palette, would have been fifty percent off. So this palette was still in stock when I got the email, and I I added it to cart, but I closed it because I was like, wait, Ruby, wait, just you don't need this right now. And then I went back and I added the neon MUA face palette, and I was like, nope, wait, you don't need this. Stop it! Just <laughs> just because it's fifty percent off doesn't mean you go out and buy it right now. So if you wouldn't buy it full price, don't buy it 50% off. Aren't you so proud of me? I did so good. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> I like it. It's a good palette. Yeah. Next up, red velvet. I have that. I haven't used it yet, but I have it. What do you this think? I haven't used it, so I don't know. I'm be I'm excited because it's really pretty in person. Do the colors yeah. match in person to what you're seeing on screens? Well, I mean, they're pretty darn close. Some of them are like a little the, off, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like the very last shade looks a lot deeper in person than on here where it looks super like magenta, fuchsia. Yeah, it is deeper in person, or at least it looks like it. I haven't tried it on the eyes, but I plan on doing it soon. 
and I love the beautiful. little oven. It looks beautiful, and I think I sent you guys the swatches last night or something. I was like, why does this look so pretty? But I just don't need another monochromatic palette right now. Yeah, I'm very like. Look at those I, swatches. I, I promised I wouldn't like come on here and give like little lectures, but I can't help it. <laughs> deceptive photography deceptive photography is fr freaking like annoying me like so many brands are posting deceptive swatches and i can't stand it so um if you guys don't follow faces by gina she sometimes will do like some kind of color correcting type thing to try to figure out what a palette looks like i find her posts on her stories very helpful Okay, yeah. so I think we are actually through with, with Indy. Oh, okay. I felt like there was so many more releases. I think it's a lot like, of them were covered under trend mood, though. Yeah, yes, that's yes. true. So, I mean, I feel now like let's a lot go of it was like the same stuff over and over, though. It kind of, I mean, but we did, we get that. Yeah. Okay. This is a new quint from Dior, the Altier of Dreams collection. Um, this is beautiful, but I don't know who this is supposed to work for. This There's not like enough the depth. Yeah, it this looks for me. boring. <laughs> it looks like the most boring quint that they've done yet. Like, all of those shades are so similar. Why? I just... That silver won't work on my inner corner because it'll just make everything look darker in the inner corner. Uh, which Kelly, Kelly uh, keep you to real, help me figure that out. I'm like, why does it keep looking gross and so dark? She's like, because it's a silver and it's too too dense for your inner corner. But um, otherwise, everything. I don't know what uh, how I would even use this. It looks very boring. Yeah, yeah it's so, very boring. Yeah. When, when Aileen says pass, you know, you know it's yeah. not good. <laughs> <laughs> So next up, this is the Chanel Rouge Cocoa Bloom lipsticks. So four red lipsticks. Why is this called? I mean, I know why it's called Rouge because Rouge is red. But I think Cocoa Rouge is Bloom also Rouge also I think means lipstick and. I thought it was um, blush. Or is it blush? Maybe I don't know. I have no idea, but the name of it's can, like Cocoa Bloom. There's no brown. I mean, I know that it's Coco Chanel, but it just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't seem right. It's weird. Yeah. I don't know. A red lipstick is a red lipstick by this point. I have so many. I, and I don't even wear red lipstick that often. It's kind of just like a eh. Just so you know, um, Rouge is basically a red powder or cream that's used as a cosmetic for coloring cheeks and lips. So okay. it could be either. Cool. Those look so similar. There's obviously like some like like more pink at the bottom, but it looks so similar. Um, Aileen said there are more shades. There are browns. Ah. Okay. I guess these right. are new. Could they not just narrow these down to two, like one cool tone brand and one <laughs> and a warm tone, and just call it a day? I don't know. I, part of me is like, it's really cool to have so many different shades. shades. But I yeah. think as a consumer, you just have to be like, well, this is the this one I'm going to buy. Nobody yeah. needs, I think what we could say is nobody needs to own this many, but it's cool. That of really offers the, yeah. yeah. So, and another thing for me for reds, I typically will only wear a red in a like a liquid lipstick. So it doesn't end up all over my teeth. It has to this be. This kind of formula it just does. No. For me, a red has to be matte, like matte, flat. I don't want any shine on that red. None. I don't want it on my tee. Yeah. Okay, next up. Okay, so House of Siage did the Whispers of Truth Mior fragrance for $495. Jeez. The FOS required for that. 25% perfume oil concentration. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I yeah, love the all... description of it. It's that's narcotic, that's... climactic, addictive. I'm not sure if I would use the word narcotic and addictive together as a marketing tactic. That, yeah. It ignites your soul with blazing flares of erotic embers and euphoric bliss. 
I feel like I need to read this in like my ASMR voice. Yeah. Yes, yeah. please. Whispers of truth noir takes you on a seductive and explosive journey of passion. It ignites your soul with blazing flares of erotic embers and euphoric bliss. Get ready to explore the world of sensuality. You sound like one of those commercials for like those date line, those phone line things that you call for whatever you know. Well, I will tell you, I don't care what it smells like. That freaking bottle is gorgeous. I mean, there is no denying that that packaging isn't stunning. It's like a diamond encrusted cupcake. Cupcake. <laughs> you know, I think what would make House of CIs better for me, because I don't think that their bottles are refillable if they made those bottles without the fragrance. Just let me buy the bottles. I'll put my cheap perfume or body spray in it, and I will buy all those all day long. We'll collect the cupcake. The bottle is probably like $395, and the actual liquid that goes in is probably like 100 <laughs> <laughs> Probably, but I do think that they're as I said, the packaging on it's a ten out of ten. I Next will never up. gamble on a fragrance. I will always get fragrances and samples first. So if House yeah. of Siage has samples, I'll try a sample. Same. Okay, Anastasia Beverly Hills did a stick highlighter, and it's got a brush on the end. Brings back this 2016. This is what I would have worn in high school on my pale legs. There's nothing interesting about this to me. Haven't they already done this? I thought they already did this. Possibly. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Next up. And why is that in the luxury category, but wasn't on trend? Yeah. Okay, Tom Ford, the Cognac Rose Eye Color Quad. This is new? It looks like everything else Tom Ford ever done sorry too expensive path. I thought this was body heat. I thought that too. Hey, so there is something that says something about body heat. Oh, that they'll post comparison swatches between that and body heat. It looks like body heat. Okay, where's the swatches? Where's, where's the, the pink? Like, I, where's where did the pink go? Is that <laughs> it is that pink? <laughs> Oh, she said she'll get the swatches up to, to, to do the comparison. Not pink anymore. Okay, I guess that's the makeup she bought. More makeup she bought. But nope. How is that on the luxury page? This, I don't know. Because she got sent it. Okay, um, we talked about this. Anything else interesting? This is beautiful. The packaging on this is stunning. Yes, the packaging. But then when I went to look at it, because I was going to buy something from it, I was like, oh, you have to buy the packaging, which is like $78. And then you have to buy either the shadow refill or the blush thingy. So, and those are $78. So you can pay $150 or so 160 plus tax us for six eyeshadows great yeah really so, <laughs> so you had to buy each eyeshadow separate and the packaging but, separate so you buy the little packaging like the red or the black enamel case and then you can buy the blush trios like 70 or 80 bucks and so is the quad or the six eyeshadows but there's two sets of like blushes and two sets of eyeshadows but they come separate you don't get the pretty packaging you have to buy that separate oh what the hold on let's see if they have it if i can go to i cannot i am so beyond confused with that decision <laughs> who decided that there we go where'd you go that's what i clicked on you do not like me, do you, today? It is beautiful, 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 beautiful. It makes me okay. happy. But just like their shoes, I will never buy anything from this company. It is ridiculously expensive. It's stupidly expensive. I was hoping to show it. Let's see. 
I will say I just love the packaging of the lipsticks and lip glosses. I just love it. Is that fair? Abracadabra. That's what the link said. (laughs) I don't know. But see, now now this is how it works. You have to buy the refillable case. And then there's your three eyeshadow choices and your three blush thing of revoppers. Okay. I literally could just buy the package, the outside packaging, and be like, look at my Louis Vuitton eyeshadow. Don't open it, though. <laughs> it, but see, the packaging, the packaging alone, alone is $78. Buy the so box we- as, like, a jewelry box. Yeah, I was like, can I just buy this and use it as, like, a clutch for, like, little makeup and put my little makeup in it? <laughs> There's probably a magnet in there, though. So, like, so, if you have anything metal, it might, like, attract to it. I don't know. It's got a little pokey tool so you can poke it out. <laughs> it does. It comes with its own little pokey tool. Look how luxurious. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I mean, I don't doubt that that's luxury all, like, personified. But I just, I mean, like, I don't know if anything would justify... Eighty dollars for six eyeshadows that are basic. I mean, we're not even talking multi chromes or something super special. There's not even a, a swatch. Oh wait, I see swatches. That's the swatches. It looks like the Corella makeup. Oh my god, yeah, they do. Well, I mean. I want it only for the packaging. Let's be honest. Speaking of Mac, I saw something that Mac oh, might be releasing that spring palette next week. Yes. Next week. We didn't talk about that one. Because it's beautiful. I might get it. <laughs> I love Mac. I just, mm, I love Not Mac. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go to like Max Factor. There we go. <laughs> Okay, let's see if they have it. Oh, would they have posted it on their page? They haven't posted anything about it. I only saw it on, um, there's that account that does like the swatch comparisons, Rupee. Yeah. Um, Also, Angel Naked One has it on their page. They do a lot of luxury, like, and other makeup. Okay. Maybe go to... Maybe go to Angel Naked One. Angel. Right there. Naked. And then scroll down. They do a lot of cool makeup posts too, actually. If you go a little further down, I think you'll see it. It's like yellow. There you go. Go down. Oh, no. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Botanic Panic. I love the name. <laughs> So I'm is really this drawn wh- to it. Me too. Where's this releasing? Because that's definitely like not English. Let me try to find some information. It's pretty. But I don't know even know where it's being released. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I, I think was- this this page is like a Russian page. That's why they're um because I can translate it on my so it says in Russia, okay, so at the moment in some Asian countries, it's already on sale. And in Russia, it will most likely arrive no later than mid-July. We'll probably get it later, I assume. But it's, it's coming. Really I'm seeing the same thing, Rupi. I'm seeing the same thing that it's that's, it's an Asian release, an East Asian release, and that it'll be available maybe to well, Europe and the U.S. at some point. A lot of times what happens is makeup is released there before it's released here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Locke. <laughs> yes, Locke. We definitely will post we will pictures of our yeah. looks. Um, this G- Givenchy packaging is beautiful. I have no idea what it says. Hang on. I will try to translate for you. <laughs> Because I can do it off of my phone. So it's, oh, it's Giorgio Armani. Oh. Did you think Givenchy? I don't know. Um, it's the four new limited edition My Armani to go cushion covers. Each case can re- replace refills. So I guess it's like a, a cover for a cushion foundation. 
I think the packaging is yeah, gorgeous. The way that it translated, I have to read this to you. I don't know what it's supposed to say, but it says, at the moment, it is known that the start of farting in Japan. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when or where if this is coming to the U.S., but the Dolce & Gabbana packaging is oh, that's gorgeous. Beautiful. That's like, so beautiful. I would, I would purchase this. I don't care if the – because I love that's the packaging. Pretty. That is pretty. I kind of like those marbled shadows. They remind me a little bit of Huda, but I think done more classy here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I love that. So I guess we are actually – we did well today, y'all. Like, there's not a whole lot of new stuff. Yeah. Apparently. That was this one, Valentino. Yeah. Valentino, <laughs> it's like... Doesn't ooh, excite me. Well, I mean, but it's ridiculously expensive. It's like there's like an accessory thingy that's like $300 that yeah. you still have to buy the product to put into. Yeah. yeah oh, don't the honor in hot water. Uh-oh. Do we talk about Armani little pods? Do we talk about those at all? Or was that oh, last the time? Blush? blush? The what? I think or we like, did. Scroll, scroll down. It was. I think we did talk about them. Oh, a little further down, I think. I... Yeah, those. Close. Those in the middle. It, it looks really pretty. I like, oh. I don't know why. I just want to like buy one and look at it and touch it. So China oh, there's the Valentino gold. beauty. That thing right there, that little case thing. Where's my mouse? That is like three hundred dollars. Jesus. Um, Aileen said that China canceled Dolce and Gabbana's appearance in their fashion show due to racial IG posts. You know what though? But like Gucci's done stuff too. They did seek turbans on the runway, and then like recently they did like um. Um, I think it's like a Pakistani outfit that they're trying to market to people. I'm on the fence good. about Gucci too. <laughs> I mean, if I'm being honest, all like luxury all brands done. are okay. easy for me to skip because it's unknowingly unnecessarily expensive for things that are based on the same quality that you would get it like mm -hmm. uh, elsewhere. I'm going to buy me some La Perla. If y'all don't know what La Perla is, it's very expensive lingerie. Oh, and they're coming so out. So I might buy the mascara and lipstick, apparently. I don't think they make bras big enough for me there, but, you know. So you buy the luxury lingerie, and then you put on your red lipstick, dot a little bit on your cheeks for the blush, and then you put the mascara on, you're ready to go to have, like, really amazing sex in your lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Most men could care less, though, about the lingerie. Let's face it. Like, it's like, oh, it comes off. That's more what they're interested in is what's underneath. But I guess that that's it for today, y'all. Okay. So. I can't get over your makeup. <laughs> it's so good. She did so good. Okie dokie. But I guess that's it for today. Now, next time, it will be on the 27th on rupee's channel yes is that the 27th yeah it is okay i have the date have memorized <laughs> <laughs> but yeah thank you all for coming we have so much fun doing this and we love you all but i guess that's it all right bye everyone, bye, everyone. thanks so much for coming love you bye